Hi there, it's Lisa Spangler with a special sneak peek video for Hero Arts. Today I'm going to be sharing a first look at the new Christmas Crystal set. This is uh, one of my favorite sets from the new catalog. It's called Handmade for Christmas 2014. And I just love this set. Um, there's so many things that you can do with it. It has a little bow that you can stamp on top of the ornaments. And then it has like a line of dots that you can use too. And um, as you can see, my set is already well loved. And I started out by stamping the crystals with the Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment Ink. And then I went ahead and embossed them with sparkle embossing powder, also by Hero Arts. And I know you can't um, see this right now, but they are heat embossed on there with the sparkle powder. And today I'm going to be using these Peerless watercolor sheets. Um, these are sheets of color and you just use a water brush. This is the Tim Holtz um, detail water brush. And I like to get it started by just um, brushing it on the back of my hand. This helps get the water flowing. And then let me zoom in here so that you can see it better. And I'm just going to pick up some color with the water brush and then go ahead and start coloring the ornaments. And I wanted to point out that you can use any watercolors for this technique. I just happen to be using the Peerless watercolors a lot lately because the colors are really vibrant. So as you can see, I only put the color on there once at the beginning. And now I'm going ahead and um, coloring the whole thing. This was all with just that one color. So you get, by using the water brush, you get a natural gradient in color. Now I'm using a darker shade of pink and I'm just going back and I'm dotting um, little bits along the outside line here. This is where um, I want it to be a little bit darker. And since this is pretty wet still, the color will just blend together and it'll look really cool. You'll get that whole watercolor thing going on. So I'm just dotting color, like I said, where I wanted it to be a little bit darker. Just like that. And now I'm going back with that first lighter pink color and I'm just coloring some more on the right side of the ornament. And I wanted to point out that I am using watercolor paper here. Um, you can do this technique with regular paper, but then it doesn't uh, blend as well because you can't use as much water or the paper will really warp. Um, and that's no fun. And so now that I've shown you how to do an ornament with one color, now I'm going to share a technique for using two colors. I'm going to start out with the same pink um, that I used before. And once again, just like kind of dot the color um, here where I wanted it to be pink. And this, uh, I had some of it on my brush from the first ornament. When I'm doing this, I like to have a whole bunch of ornaments um, ready to go and embossed. And that way I can just sit and color and play and have fun. So let me put some of the darker color just along the edges again, just like dotting it in, just like that. So now the left side of the ornament is looking pretty good and I'll move on to the middle. So the middle is going to be kind of a transition area. I plan on coloring the right side with like an aqua pool color. And so the middle is where they're going to, the colors are going to overlap and do the cool watercolor thing where they kind of blend together and make a new color. Um, in this case, it'll make like this really pretty um, purplish color. So that's it for the left side, I think. I might go back and add more later. You never know. Uh, but now I'll move on to the right side. So here are the two colors I'm going to be using. It's like a turquoise blue and then kind of an aqua greenish color. And I'm going to start by taking that um, aqua color. And I'm just going to pick up some color again. And then go ahead and put it all over the right side of the ornament. And the thing about embossing is it makes it really easy to keep that color just right there. 
Now I'm going to dot some of the color into the middle and you can see the two colors starting to interact with each other there and looking really cool. And as this dries, they'll blend um, more together. You can see it kind of fading together um, more there. It looks really neat. So I'm going to dot on some of the blue color too along the right side. Maybe a little bit more and kind of put this just where I wanted it to be um, darker and have more shading. And then I'm going to do it more in the middle, just along there. And then I got some over the edge there. So I just wanted to have a little bit to kind of bring those two together. And there's no right or wrong way to really do this. You just kind of want to play and have fun. Um, but once again, work on watercolor paper so that your colors can blend. And here's a finished card that I did with three ornaments. Two of them were colored um, all one color. And then the third ornament has those three colors working together. And I think that looks really super cool. Here's a close-up so that you can see it better. And then I used those dotted uh, lines to make it where the ornaments were hanging down from a little strip at the top. And I also put those little sparkles just for a little added touch. And then Kelly made the other card that you see here in the photo with the three ornaments. And she used the little bows and she used the messages from the set to stamp the peace, love, and joy. I just love her card so much. So thanks so much for watching. And I can't wait until the catalog comes out on August 15th. Bye!